I know you get the two points, which is obvious, but what, what do you get most out of a game like this? Well, I thought the first period and, well, period and a half or so, maybe the last five minutes into the second period, we were, weren't as hard as we usually are. A little too easy to play against. We didn't win enough battles. Um, we did some good things, but then it was just the battling part. When we got pucks in deep, they came out easy. We didn't sustain any pressure. I thought after uh, Valentine got in the fight there, we started getting some pucks deep, started creating some energy, started getting some momentum. Uh, we got that first goal and rolled from there. That was my next question. Is that you're down 2 nothing? Does his fight kind of flip things up on the bench? Yeah, it does. It was his first one of the year. He had a lot of energy, some jumps, so that's good. He, the guys need to step up like that. And I think Callahan cha challenged him off the face off, and he answered the bell. And that's what you need to do, respond like that. There's a season-high winning streak uh, since you've taken over. What stands out in these last four games? Um, the way our guys respond, uh, probably the big thing. We're down again tonight. It had been easy to pack it in. You know, we got a game tomorrow night and a game Sunday night. But we just keep battling, find a way to win. It uh, wasn't the prettiest win again, but we respond. They score their third goal. We go down, get the third one to tie it up again. And then we win and shoot out. We didn't get it in the overtime on the power play. Had some opportunities we, we missed on, uh, but then found a way in shootout to get the two points. Going back to Valentine, he also had another first tonight of a goal. Yeah. What do you think of his play, and how's he been doing for you? Well, it's good. He put it in, getting caught up the ice like that. So uh, he had to finish it that way so he wasn't trapped below the goal line. No, um, I thought he started a little slow, a little hesitant in the first period, too, as most of our guys were uh, caught in between a couple plays. Uh, but then he kind of got sharp, and he was on his toes and playing, uh, being active and being involved in the play. And I thought he had a stronger second half of the game, like the rest of the team. And also, you guys are a third period team. You've been there all season. What, what's it going to take? Or what do you have to work on to get those other two periods? Um, well, I thought against Peoria the last weekend, we were good the first couple periods. It's just this, it seems with this week off that we've been having for the first half of the season, uh, we've tried different things, change it up, giving different days off, doing different uh, activities, pushing them different ways, uh, good hard skates on certain days or whatever. And it's just this Friday game after a week off, we just seem to come out sluggish. Or we weren't sluggish tonight, just weren't as sharp as we needed to be. Uh, Ronson missed his third straight game. Is that healthy scratches or does he have some type of injury? A healthy scratch. So just uh, right now the guys are playing well in front. Uh, he's just got to keep working hard and work his way back in the lab and be ready when he gets his opportunity to, to run with it. And what's uh, one or two reasons? What stood out as far as why you hired Stan? What does he bring to the table? Uh, well, our relationship. We've know, known each other since, I think, 95 or 96. Uh, we played together. Uh, he brings different uh, set of skills to the table. His background's different. Uh, he's, he was a forward, a hard two-way forward, but he had a lot of skill. I think he still holds the OHL record for most points, career points in the OHL. He's had a ton of points, uh, power play guy, but did penalty kill too. So it just fits into the, what we do here, hard two-way game, but brings a little bit more skill, I guess, than I had when I was just a hard, hard to play against D-man. Did you have your shootout lineup pick beforehand, or is it something you kind of got when you got up there? And why'd you choose who you did? Um, Benny Vanderklok and I talk. He was in the building tonight, so he helps out with shootouts. So we had certain guys that we wanted to use tonight. We knew what uh, McDonald, his style is, and what would be effective. Um, Pustinin was one of his choices, his good choice. He had him beat three times and then came back into him. If he would have, after the first or second time they had him beat, would have shot, he would have scored. Uh, Bork had another great move, had him beat and hit the crossbar. Um, so those were the first four guys. The fifth one, Mueller, was a, a choice, just a decision there. Felt he was, he was going to score. He looked down the bench, said, I'm going to score. And all right, you're up then. Go get it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.